Once upon a time, in a deep and ancient forest, crafty goblins faced the truth about the darkness in the big wooden house. It had come for the wise princess, driving her mad and causing her to attack them. When they started asking questions about the princess... I hope this is chapter 3. I don't know. The darkness, the goblins realized that no one else in the forest wanted to know the truth. So they dug and searched and asked hurtful questions, learning more about the wise princess than they had ever hoped to. But the search took its toll. The darkness was proving too much for Sister Goblin, and yet Brother Goblin kept diving deeper and deeper until Sister Goblin finally said, Enough. And that was how the goblins found themselves separated again, hurt and confused, with so many unanswered questions and too many opened wounds. only go forward and find a new place for herself in this world where she was no longer truly a princess in a tiara and a beautiful gown but a wan woman alone in a sea of empty void This is getting intense.
just have to fix so I have the chat open because this game is like I have to do <coughs> the screen not there is no game thing here if that makes sense so I don't miss anything He's right. Time to get my shit together. How did we go from being so alike to, to total opposites? I gotta think about something else. like I missed something. I mean everything was fine. Or what was it? When I left it yesterday. I miss the slopes. Eddie looks so young here. What the? <sighs> I should probably eat something. God, I feel so weak. <sighs> so many months of snow boots ahead. Eddie looked pretty concerned when I came home last night. I should have talked to him about what happened, but what the hell was I supposed to say? I'm glad he never pushed me to change my last name. It's 
Still can't believe Eddie never told me he was paying for fireweed. That was a good memory, even though Tyler couldn't come. Eddie must have been back and forth to Juno all the time to these shows before he got stuck here taking care of me. Hmm. I don't think I know any Claire's in Delos Crossing, but I shouldn't be snooping in here. Secret keeper in her secret keep. Yay, the book of goblins again. So there is an eye symbol, right? Maybe there's something in the Book of Goblins that'll help me figure this out. Maybe there's something in the Book of Goblins that'll help me figure this out. A secret keeper in her secret key. This is personal. Something's not right. What is this? I need to get all that paperwork together. Maybe that'll help me. I wish Eddie's mom could have taught me how to do this. I wish Eddie's mom could have taught me how to do this. Where's the waffles? I can't really eat anything right now. For real? I want food. Here's the file. Just need my ID and pay stubs. Okay. We were family, Allison. How could you do this to me? <sighs> Fuck. I've got to think about something else. Focus. ID and pay stubs. What if I just packed a bag and left? Never looked back. Ah, here's my ID. I 
I wonder if I'll ever hear from Tina again. What if I just packed a bag and left and never looked back? feels so fucking small right now. I've got to find a way to get out of my head. Eddie loved his Mishka so much. I haven't had any time to sketch lately. I wonder what Tyler's up to out of the house. I don't feel like listening to anything right now. I wonder what Michael would think about all this. Would he even wish I thought shooting some hoops would help me forget all this? I wish you could just change your mood as easily as a record. I can't really eat anything right now. He doesn't like this kind of attention, but he really does so much for the community. I can't leave without all my application stuff. Yeah, and I tried to get them. The paperwork's not down there. Good to know. Where did I stash my pay stubs? Where did my wallet end up last night? I just went there, no? Ah, I missed a detail. <sighs> this place doesn't have much more than a bachelor pad, huh? There was so much I planned to do. All those sacrifices I made. And how do you repay me? Lying to my face? You're not my child. My clan deserves better. Oh, stop it, Allison. You have to stop torturing yourself. Grab your pay stubs so you can get the hell out of here. find that. That's the question. I wonder if I'll ever hear from Tina again. Hmm. Can it be upstairs? Do you? They're just words. 
you left me, Allison. All alone and scared. <laughs> wrong with me not here I'm starting to wonder if she's the one that's a bit maybe it's not as it seems to be in the story Here they are. Okay, I think I've got everything I need for the application. Just gotta go another round. I could do my laundry. Ugh. Maybe later. There's not enough concealer in the world to erase the night I had. Good to know I look just as bad as I feel. Where's that coming from? Where did I leave my phone last night? Phone's definitely not up here. Ringing got quieter. I don't think there's any reason my phone would have ended up here. I cannot deal with you right now. Not here. No, no phone here. to find it. phone here. Worried. Why didn't you pick up? Yeah, uh, sorry. I, uh, I didn't have my phone on me. Okay. 
Well, I just wanted to make sure we were still on for lunch. Uh, yeah, of course. I'm getting ready right now. That so? Because it kind of sounds like I woke you up. That's just how I sound. But anyways, I still have a few things to do before I can leave, but I'll be there. All right, hon. See you soon. <sighs> get it together, Allison. Come on. Yeah, get it Grab together, Grab the file, Allison. get dressed, and head out. Or it'd be... I miss you, pup. I miss you, pup. Tyler and I should bike around the lake when we've patched things up. Morning. Hey, Allie. Hey. Hi, guys. What are you doing here? Tessa and I were worried after you called in sick last night. She's busy at the cafe, but she sent over some coconut cake, since you won't be making it in for lunch. That's nice, Tom. Thanks. I'm gonna head on inside. Freezing my butt off out here. Okay, uh, thanks. Is Tyler not around today? We had a fight. I think we just needed to get out of each other's hair for a little bit. I'm sorry to hear that. You were so happy he was coming home. Oh, it's okay. We'll get over it. I really hope so. <clears throat> so, Tessa told me a little bit about what happened at the cemetery. Yeah, I'm sorry it got so intense. It's just... We really needed to understand why Marianne did what she did. Especially Tyler. Oh, of course, of course. She gets that. You two didn't say anything she wasn't already thinking. She spent years blaming herself. Well, she wasn't the only one involved. There was a lot of blame to go around. I'm glad you're able to see that. It seems like your brother, well, he... He's not nearly so forgiving, is he? He has been pretty harsh. Especially on Eddie. But we both got tired of people lying to us for our own good. Yes, of course. Uh, totally reasonable. Though, I am sorry you're the one taking all the repercussions. I heard about the fight with your uncle. I really hope your brother appreciates your sacrifices. He will. I... I mean... He does. I'm sorry, but I'm pretty beat. Oh, of course. I'll let you rest. Tell Michael there's no need to hurry back. Okay. Thanks for stopping by, Tom. Bye now. Take care. Sorry for abandoning you out there. Pro tip? Avoid catching a ride with Tom at all costs. Did he talk about the new spicy chocolate bars? Yep. And exactly what they do to his digestion. Well, he said you don't have to rush back to the store. Oh, <laughs> good. Because I did not plan to. <sighs> I've been overdoing it on double shifts this week. I'm beat. I know the feeling. Help yourself to some waffles if you want. That's Eddie's way of saying I'm worried about you. Oh, that's cute. But I had a ridiculously huge breakfast, so I'm good. I don't know about you, but I just really need to get out of Delos Crossing. Well, we're on our way soon, right? Right. I don't know. I. I've just got this feeling it's gonna fall through and, and I'm gonna be stuck here forever. That's not happening. We've got a plan. I'm glad you're here, Michael. Thanks for coming. Coffee and a friendly face is just what the doctor ordered, right? 
I just feel like cuddling up in front of the TV all day. Maybe finally binge that last season of Witches of Eldom. Then do it. Ah, uh, I gotta drag my lazy ass out to have lunch with Dee. Allison, what's going on? Tyler and I had a fight last night. I was so excited to have him back, but what if 10 years was too much and we're too different? I don't think so. You just need to get to know each other again. Start with the small shit. Figure out what each other's favorite foods are, you know? And then build up to the big stuff. Yeah, that, that makes sense. The last few days have been a lot. And it's totally okay to be overwhelmed. You're gonna figure it all out. Families are fucked up. <laughs> They're basically fuck-up factories. You're right. I just need to relax. <sighs> so, maybe this will cheer you up. I think I found the perfect place. Check it out. Pretty cool, right? Deposit's a bit high, but it's got two large bedrooms and a view of the channel. <sighs> You're really going to give up our home to live in this ugly box? <laughs> oh, God. Allison? Allison, look at me. Are you okay? I'm just... Um, I need to... I, I just need to sit down. It's okay. I got you. What's going on? I think we should tell him. Hopefully he's... I don't believe in such things. God, everything? My anxiety is through the roof. I can't eat anything without getting sick and... And I've been seeing things. Memories. Of Marianne and me and Tyler when we were kids and, and Eddie and... It used to just be stuff I'm pretty sure really happened, but... Now I see them everywhere shouting every shitty thought I've ever had about myself. I don't know how much more of it I can take. That's intense. I'm sorry, has... Anything like this happened to you before? Right after Marianne died, I had a lot of panic attacks, but... Nothing exactly like this. <laughs> Come here, Allie. I hear you, okay? I hear you. You must think I'm completely nuts. No, I think you went through some really bad shit. You never saw anyone about it, right? Yeah, I, I've looked into therapists a few times, but they're all so far away and so expensive. Well, you know what I went through in 2011. I don't know if I'd still be here if I hadn't gotten help. You got that money coming in from the house. For our apartment in Juno. I don't want to bail on you. Look, I know you hate letting people down, but you gotta put your own oxygen mask on first. I get that. And so does Tyler. Thanks. I'll try. <sighs> I really need to work on the house today, but Tyler's crashing out there. Not sure if I'm ready to face him. If you want. I could go out there, see how he's feeling, and if he's ready to talk. What do you think? Why do yeah, I miss maybe that could work. Fight. 
I hope he'll talk to you, though. He's never been the best at opening up to new people. You sure? Yeah, of course. I don't mind trying if I might patch things up between you two. Oh shit, I'm gonna be late for my lunch with D. I still need to change and stuff, but I can drop you off at the store if you want. Sure, thanks. No, Michael, thank you for listening. I mean it. He's a good guy, we think. But we also know he wants to meet Tyler, right? Heidi. Hey, beautiful. You okay? Cause, girl, you look like shit. I, uh, haven't been sleeping well. But here I am. That's how much I love you, right? Oh. Well, I appreciate us having a girl's lunch anyway. Just give me five minutes so I can finish off this paperwork. Oh, no rush. I need to drop off some stuff with Eddie. All right. Oh, uh, help yourself to some cobbler. Mrs. Romero sent it over after I caught her flasher. It's in the break room. You better hurry before Greg's kills it off. Mrs. Romero's cobbler? I'm on it. <laughs> I'll meet you in there when I'm done with this. Morning. Hola, Miss Ronan. Hey, Gregs. Hey, Allison. What brings you here? To Ooh, these look like wild oh, berries. Mrs. Romero Patience. must have frozen them over the summer. Patience. Oh, yes, Patience. she takes her cooking seriously. Very seriously. Hey, Gregs. <laughs> Going around in circles? Just needed to drop off some paperwork with Eddie. The chief's busy right now, but you could leave him in his mail slot. Hey, Gregs. Oh, what are you up to, Allison? Nothing really. Just waiting for D. <laughs> then pull up a chair. Ooh, these look like wild berries. Mrs. Romero must have frozen them over the summer. Oh, yes, she takes her cooking seriously. Very seriously. <laughs> I'm do some gymnastics. Ooh, these look okay, like wild so berries. So Mrs. Some Romero some must have frozen them over the summer. Oh yes, she takes her cooking seriously. Very seriously. Okay, so his mailbox, where is that? Eddie's file or something. Try not to hang out upstairs too long. Chief's orders. Sorry. Sounds like Eddie's busy. I shouldn't bother him. I should probably drop the paperwork here. Eddie's gonna be busy for a while. Uncle's in there. He's really letting that guy have it. My post is beyond the brother business. Where do you know him? Works at the post office. Name's Dan. Ah, uh, yes, I do. Uncle's in there. <sighs> He's really letting stuff. that guy have it. I wonder how Uncle's feeling about me moving away. We haven't really talked about it. Weather's getting colder day by day. I love it. What are you having? Trout pie and uh, black radish. I'm on a diet. A cobbler diet? <laughs> hey, shh, 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 shh. I won't tell if you won't. I've always had a sweet tooth. Got it from my mom. She baked darn near every day. Need to start being a little careful though. Doctor's orders. Brenda may be in for it, too. <laughs> God, that kid can eat. Linda's pretty concerned, but, uh, growing boys, right? He needs the extra energy. He wants to let her in wrestling, and, oh boy, is he working hard. 
Damn, sometimes I miss being 14. You are not kidding about the cobbler. This may be her best batch ever. Right? <laughs> hey, Gregs. Got any big vacation plans coming up? Yeah, we'll probably go up to Anchorage for Thanksgiving. Linda's sister lives up that way. But I'm also secretly planning a family trip to New York City for New Year's. Been saving for two years, and I got it all arranged under a fake email. That's really cool. I'd love to go there someday. It's probably our last big trip before Lauren's off to college, so I wanted to make it count. I'm sure everyone will have a great time. What you reading? Oh, uh, about that doc strike and the trouble these folks are causing for everyone else. Ugh, I hate strikes. What is this, Paris, France? Come on! It's the only way most people have to get anyone to listen. We haven't had a three-pointer coffee break in a while. <laughs> you remember how that one shot of yours went wild and smashed the picture of old Chief Burke? Yep. Couldn't show my face around here for a week. Eh, well, I'll let you in on a secret. Most people hated Burke anyway. Your dad's a far better chief than he ever was. <sighs> oh, she's done now? Great. Or she has to work. Hey, sorry I kept you waiting. No worries. You'll never believe it. We caught the mailbox bandit. And guess who it was? Hmm, an animal? Like a raccoon, maybe? Have you been eavesdropping in on official police business? <laughs> anyway, yeah, it's a raccoon. Delos Crossing's most wanted turned out to be some trash band of stowaway. <laughs> and this is how legends begin. Anyway, hun, I'm so sorry to bail, but I gotta run this little guy to animal control now. Probably best I take a rain check. Oh, it's, it's okay. Totally, I understand. Duty calls. Thanks. Well, we need to try again soon. I feel so bad about missing your birthday. I thought about making you something, but I was a little strapped for time, so... No, I get it. With your brother back, I see where your priorities are now. What? No, no, it's not... Relax, I'm just kidding. I really gotta go now. Right, I'll call you later. And try to get some sleep, all right? See ya. Well... There go my lunch plans. Hey, your brother didn't tag along today? No. He didn't really want to show his face around here after the mess he made yesterday, huh? What do you mean? Well, you know, how he went and broke into the archive room, then pretty much assaulted your uncle? Look, we're all worried about you. This isn't the Allison we know. The Allison you know? Yeah, the sweet, smart girl who'd never hurt anyone on purpose. I know you two and the chief made peace, but I gotta say, it ate at him all day. We did what we had to, to get what we needed. All right, I just want you to be careful. I've been doing this for a long time, and people, they mostly don't change even when we really want them to. Look, I'm really tired. Can we not do this? Allison, I like you. I really do. I've known you since you were a kid. You're honest, stable, and you're not a troublemaker. Tyler, I mean, if he goes down, don't let him take you with him, okay? I, I can't, I can't do this. Oh, are you okay? Please, just let me go. I need air. I need some air. Ty? Are you there? Tyler? 
answer me, please? Fuck. Why is he ghosting me? God. I can't breathe. Please stop. before this will pass Am I still breathing? <sighs> yes. I'm still breathing. Keep going. <sighs> My heart's still racing. But I think I need to just let go. What's happening? I'm so scared, Allison. Me too. I don't want to go. And maybe... Maybe we should tell them the truth. Are you sure? I don't know. Maybe. But what if we get in trouble and then we both get Time sent away? Hey, Chief Brown, wait. I, uh, I went back to the house and got these for you kids. They, uh, they wouldn't let me take anything else. I'm, I'm sorry. Sam, please tell them to let us stay together. Please. Oh, gosh. Please. Uh, I don't have that kind of power. Sam. <laughs> Kids. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. That's it. Allison? What are you doing out here? It's freezing. I just needed some air. What happened? What's wrong, little moose? I think I had a panic attack. <laughs> it's gonna be okay. Let's get you inside and warmed up. And then we can talk about what happened. I'm sorry. This morning has just been so... God, I'm embarrassed. Don't be. You haven't had an attack in a while. What's going on? I've just been so wrong. About everything. Did Tyler say something to make you feel that way? But, no. It wasn't him. It was me. I failed him. Over and over. From here, it looks like you've been busting your ass to help him. You don't understand. Allie, you've got so much weight on your shoulders. 
with Tyler coming back and your big move. You know, maybe it's time to ease off some of this, some of this other stuff that's clearly stressing you out. If you mean Marianne, I can't. I owe it to Tyler to see it through. Do you? I don't know why you've always blamed yourself for that. It wasn't your fault. That's not true, Uncle. I was there. I... You were 11 years old. There was nothing you could do. You can't go on letting it haunt your every waking moment. <sighs> Look, you're not your mother, okay? What do you mean? I mean, something happened to her. Something bad. I don't know what it was, but... I never left her. You can't make that same mistake. You've got to tell those ghosts to, to move on. Uncle, it was me. What? I is the one who had the scissors. What? What, what are you saying? I just got to go get some more coffee. Be right back. She was threatening Tyler. <sighs> I'm 
So I stabbed her. <laughs> I, I killed her. <laughs> I killed my mother. <laughs> but Tyler confessed. He... He went to Fireweed. We lied. We lied to everyone. No, 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 no. How? How could you let him take the blame? It was a mistake, I know. But we were in shock. And Tyler wanted to take the blame. And I let him. <laughs> but we should have told the truth. It must have really hurt. Keeping that inside all these years. I pretty much just bottled it up. But now it's all I can think about. <laughs> Everywhere I look, she's there. I can't take it anymore. <laughs> it's not easy to admit something like that it takes a lot of courage Allison I, I should have seen it I... I'm so nauseous to go I'm so sorry none of this was fair to you two Thank you, Uncle. How are you feeling now? Any better? Relieved, actually. And really tired. Uh, I was remembering something earlier. I don't know if it even really happened. The day Tyler left for Fireweed. Did Sam come by with some of our stuff? Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. He did. Okay. How close were he and Marianne? I, I don't know exactly. But he cared about her a lot. Her... Her death really shook him up. He was over at our house a lot. Fixing things, chasing off animals. I know you didn't turn up anything about who our biological father was. But did you ever think it might have been Sam? Oof. Well, your mom and him were close, so that's a possibility. But I never found any proof, no. I should go talk to him. Are you sure that's a good idea? You need to get some rest. I have to do this. And not just for Tyler. For me too. I love you, Uncle. Thank you for everything. I'll call you later. Okay. 
You can do this. Visualize the outcome you want. Uh, we want Sam to be our dad or what? <sighs> I always family to get it. Fucking. Oh, Allie, I... <laughs> Hello. Hi, Sam. <coughs> Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. So, um, I was over at the station, and I was thinking about some things. Yeah? You've known us for a while. Your whole lives. You puked all over my slick denim button-up. That's a nice memory. <laughs> Can't put any of the chain or the valve covers back on. So, uh, did you need something? I was hoping to. Uh, I actually wanted to check out your boat, is all. Hmm. Yeah. Well, all right. Uh, here she is. Are you gonna be long? I was hoping we could talk. I don't need my ears to fix an engine. What's up? I, uh... Never mind. So, um... What are you doing wandering around in the middle of the working day? I'm off today. Sam, could we talk now? It's a little important. Ain't that what we're doing? Uh, where's your brother? We had a fight. <laughs> Bit of sibling rivalry, huh? Oh, you should have seen me and my little brother have at it. Right up. Right up till the end. So, um... What are you doing wandering around in the middle of the working day? I'm off today. Sam, could we talk now? It's a little important. Ain't that what we're doing? What are you doing? Ah, my cousin Billy bought an old motorboat, but that fool drowned the engine taking her out. <laughs> yeah, I told him I'd fix it. How's the, uh, how's the house coming along? Honestly, physically painful. It'll be a miracle if I don't throw out my back. Let your brother do the heavy lifting. So he can throw his back out? <laughs> Not better. Are you gonna be long? I was hoping we could talk. I don't need my ears to fix an engine. What's up? I, uh... Never mind. So, um... What are you doing wandering around in the middle of the working day? I'm off today. Sam, could we talk now? It's a little important. Ain't that what we're doing? Having some trouble? I can't get these nuts loose because my idiot cousin let them rust. He's got a can of rust remover somewhere. If you come across it, pass it over, yeah? Oh, uh, sure. Still can't get him off? <laughs> nope. <laughs> uh, it's driving me up the goddamn wall. Uh, I can only find that goddamn rust spray. Would this help? Oh, uh, thanks, princess, but that ain't it. It's, uh, it's in a red can. Not a princess.
No bananas on board? Really? Damn right. Not just superstition. I haven't seen your boat in the water for a while. Uh, yeah, it was time for annual haul. Haul out? Oh, yeah. You gotta get her up out of the water so you can fix up the haul. I've been uh, missing some tools I need. Did you check if I have rust spray somewhere in this mess? Whoa, that's a really nice sextant. Well, it sure is. It's a present from my old crew for my 30th birthday. Hey, an encyclopedia of astronomy. I have this one. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. Real detailed. Didn't know you were interested in astronomy. Well, how are you supposed to navigate if you don't know your ass from Orion? Ah, oh, damn it! What happened? I busted my finger with that stupid wrench. Grab me a gauze. Should be in that cupboard over there. Find anything? Yeah, the gauze should be in this uh, cupboard over there. Sam, are you our father? <sighs> Figured you'd ask me that question someday. Well? I wish I was. What the hell kind of answer is that? I'm sorry, Ellie. But the man you're looking for... Oh, okay. Guess I'll just take your word for it then. Hey, you got no right coming in here, getting angry at me for something I got nothing to do with. But you two are so close. I know you meant something to her. You honestly think I would have let you two grow up without a father? I may be a deadbeat, but... I'm no coward. But you must know something. I truly don't. Your mama, she never... Look, we were just friends. I mean, take a look at old Sam. No woman like Marianne would ever think twice about a guy like me. I'm so sick of this. I'm so tired of trying to unravel all of Marianne's fucking secrets. I don't... Okay. I don't understand her. I want to hate her so much. But I don't even know who she was. 
Come with me. I want to show you something. Come in. Come in. Oh. When was the last time you cracked a window? <laughs> Heat's on the fritz. Ugh. Come over here. Sit with me. What's all this? Here, I, uh, kept a few things. Can I? Swords and schemes. Oh, and I took her to see that for her birthday. <laughs> she hated every second of it. Whole drive back, she talked about how it butchered the books. Did you like it? I, uh, well, <laughs> fell asleep before I even saw a sword. Your mother made that. Oh, she was a real artist, that one. Kind of like you. I remember this. We got this on our trip to Juno. Uh-huh. <laughs> she saved up for a whole year to make that happen. She looks happy. Hmm. She... When was this? Why are you wearing a square hat? Oh, yeah, that was when I finally got my captain's license. <laughs> Mary Ann's the one who pushed me to get it. Made me wear that stupid hat when I went to take the oath. Huh. Yeah, Laura took this one. We'd been working on that barn for months. That roof was a son of a bitch to sheath. Rain just kept on leaking into the loft. Wait, the barn has a loft? Oh, yeah. You didn't know? No, she didn't tell us. Is that a trap door? Yeah. Jimmy closed the whole thing up. Told her it was going to be real hard to get any hay up there, but she said she didn't mind. Do you know what's up there? I could tell she didn't want to talk about it, so I respected that. Well, we're gonna have to empty it out for the sale, so I guess we'll know soon enough. Ellie, you really gonna go through with this? It's like I told you, that, that house meant everything to your mama. It's it's all I it's all we got left. You can't just throw it away. Look at yourself. That's enough. You should pay Warcraft just for the murders. How long are you gonna keep feeling sorry for yourself? Are you really just gonna drag Marianne behind you for the rest of your life? Give it back. No! I'm sick of watching you play town drunk! For Christ's sake, get it together! You came here looking for my help, and now you're gonna stand there and judge me? Things were just fine until you two came along. 
digging up things that should have stayed buried. Fine. Look around you. You're living with ghosts. Get out. You're pathetic. Get out! some gaming tonight or just beers got an achievement called Are You My Daddy? <laughs> and that was a weird achievement. <laughs> Are you my daddy? Get the hell off my property now! Are you gonna go out and make something? <laughs> I'm going to kill you! <laughs> we can't ruin the moment here now. You're going out to make babies, Ainat. For real. Hey, oh, Tyler, Tyler I've been looking all over the place for you. Are you alright? Yeah, I'm fine. Whoa. Whoa! Hey, let's get you off your feet, okay? Come on. Listen, if you want to be alone, I'll go. But if there's anything you need to get off your chest, I won't snitch. You saw Allison? How is she? Yeah. I, I went back to check on her this morning. So he doesn't know. She told the uncle that she's the one who killed their mother. I'm still a bit like, why do I not remember their fight? That they were fighting in chapter 2. Or is it just something that happened like in between? So we, we don't really know it happened. They're just telling us now in some recap. Because I was a little bit confused about that, I have to say. She was in a pretty bad way. Whatever went on between you two, it, it wrecked her. Look, I don't want to drag you into this. Well, I'm already in it, and you look like hell, so... I just got a lot on my mind. Well, I know one thing that's good for that. As a wise man once said, fishing is the cure to the wounds of the heart. Was that wise man you? Hey, like I said, I gotta write my own legacy. So, you in? I, I don't know. Come on, we're burning daylight. Let's go. Uh, where are we gonna go? Why go anywhere when we have a perfectly frozen lake right here? Ice fishing in November? Yeah, it got cold way fast this year. Climate change, that shit's gonna kill us, but hey. Fish first. You can walk behind me if you're afraid, though. You're actually serious. I am a very serious man, Tyler. 
Let's go. We still have to get everything out of the car. So ice fishing can should be fun though. Stage is set. And show of time. Whenever you're ready. You sure you don't want to go? Fishing, nah. No, no Look, no way I'm gonna rob you of your nothing. first catch in your own backyard. We got some Vikings <laughs> here. All right. Got everything you need, by the way? Yeah, I'm good. Man. I'm so gonna miss this. Miss what? Just hanging out and fishing and... You know, I'm not gonna have a lot of time after you move to Juno with school and the JC and everything. Right. Right. So did any of the people you came up with at Fireweed land in Juno? Oh, uh... I'm not sure. Once they left, I never really kept in touch. Really? People came and went a lot. And besides, everyone moves on eventually, right? <laughs> Not everyone. Not people who get so close, they're like family. I already have a family. Well, there's a reason we think of families yeah, as trees. I also think they keep on sprouting new branches. Later on. Oh, uh, I hey, I think I've got a bite. Is, but it's the last chapter. You got this. Reel them in. Come on, pull up on the rod. <laughs> Reel him in. Now give it a nice pull. I got it. I got it. <laughs> Dinner Slip is saved. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Bravo. I think we're gonna crack a First bottle of, of wine. Pace and yourself. Cook, eat, it's a marathon, and then not I a sprint. Be some late night, <laughs> Thanks, night Sensei. Gaming. Oh, hey, did you want to make solid plans to hit the buzzard hole? The river might ice over today, soon, so we so shouldn't <laughs> wait too long. Really good. Sleeping schedule. Yeah, sure. Sweet. I was planning to go Saturday. I'll pick you up on the way out. Cool. I'll set my See alarm to ass crack of dawn. Hey, so the other day you were talking about your chosen family. How did you find them? Well, high school can be kind of rough when you gotta hide who you are every second of the day. I got to a pretty dark place. I can relate to that. One morning, my uncle woke me up and told me to get into his car. I figured we're going fishing or something, but then we ended up outside the Juno Coalition for Equality. Your uncle brought you to the JCE? Yeah. He didn't know how to help, so found someone who did. That sounds amazing. You know, even if you don't move to Juno, my offer still stands. The JCE holds a monthly meeting. You meet a lot of good people there. I... I'm not sure where I'm going, but yeah, if I'm around for the next one, I'll give you a call. No pressure. Just letting you know the door is open. So, ice fishing? I mean, yeah. What isn't there to like about standing in the middle of a frozen lake? Alright, here we go. about them apples. Oh, nice job. So, you weren't all talk. Impressed? I only see two fish in my cooler. For now. <laughs> so, you gonna tell me what's in the cooler, or what? I could tell you. 
Or I could watch you squirm a bit longer. Ugh. You're a terrible person. You know that? <laughs> you betcha. You have this whole fancy bag just for ice fishing? You don't mix and match. Ever. Jeez. You don't mess around, do you? <laughs> Told you earlier. I'm a very serious man. So? What are you gonna make with what we catch? Hey, you got me figured out. A slice of fresh fish, topped with garlic, pesto, walnuts, just a drop of olive oil, pure perfection. Pure. As my partner in crime, you're entitled to a cut. Works for me, partner. So, about last night, I don't know what Allison said, but from my side, well, I thought we were on the same page. But it turns out, we weren't. Hey, so don't tell her I told you, but last week your sister was almost unbearable. She was jumping up and down with excitement at you coming back. Really? <laughs> you better believe it. Look, the last time you saw each other, you were kids. Just because things have changed doesn't mean you can't work it out. I know. It's probably my fault. I really pushed her last night. I just don't get why she always has to run away from everything. Can you blame her? <sighs> Avoiding the problem doesn't make it go away. She's so fixated on selling the house. It's like she's trying to bury the past. All of it. Even the good parts. Look, I'm not picking sides here. Okay, but she's been murder house girl ever since it happened. Now she's got a chance to put it behind her. And start fresh. <laughs> Shit, I'd be pretty eager too. I guess I didn't really think about that. I've been so focused on my own shit. It's been hard, you know? Figuring out how to live out here. You mean outside of fireweed? Yeah. When I first got there, all I could think about was getting out. It felt like a cage. But after a while, it started to feel more like a shell. I figured out who I was in there. But now I've got to work out how to be that person out here. Well, if it makes you feel any better, none of us really know what we're doing. Like, shit may look bleak now, but your sister's never gonna give up on you. And you can lean on me too, if you want. Just be careful, okay? Got a bad left shoulder. <laughs> I'll keep it in mind. Thanks for listening. Don't mention it. Don't you say anything. I got this. Three. Well played. <laughs> I got nothing. That was clean. Huh. I'm a little disappointed. Hey, can I... Can I ask you something that's pretty personal? Sure. Take off the gloves. You, so. uh... You've been with people, right? Uh... Romantically? Uh, yeah. A few. Have you? Uh, no. Not really. That's kind of surprising. I guess the right person just never came along. But you're open to the idea? Yeah, I could be. <laughs> Let's say I'm reevaluating. You want my take on it?
Sure. Heartbreak sucks. Look, I stopped listening to the entire indie folk genre just because I was dumped at a show once. But I put myself back out there just like everyone who's ever gotten their heart stomped on. Because when you meet someone who really sees you, you don't have to pretend anymore. And you're still interested in being that someone? Even after all the shit that's happened? Hey, I've got baggage too. I think it's worth a chance. Don't you? I think we're in total agreement here. Yeah? Yeah. I get this feeling like I could say or do anything with you, and it'd be cool. I feel safe. You are. Because your sister would kill me if I did you dirty. Uh, <laughs> yeah, she would. So, doesn't look like you're catching anything with that. You want me to show you how it's done? Go for it. Hey, you're missing the show. You okay? Told you so. She's having the most romantic moment and she's like totally devastated. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's one way to put it. Hey, Ali. I think I'll just show myself out. Okay, uh, call me later? You know I will. Sorry for interrupting. No, it's totally fine. We were done anyway. Catch anything? Mostly ice, but yeah. Tyler, I'm sorry for freaking out yesterday. All of this, it's just been really hard on me. Don't apologize. I was being an asshole. We should have never pushed you that hard. Come here. God, why did I miss you so much? It's only been a day. I've been told I have that effect on people. You dumb dumb. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I need to show you something. What? You're kind of wearing me out. Can we sit down for a sec? So, what is it? I was just at Sam's. He's not our father. How do you know? I asked him, point blank. I'm not surprised. Running down the barn didn't really seem like a Sam move. Yeah, I guess it was silly to suspect him in the first place. He'd never hurt Mary Ann's kids. There's something else. Look at this. 
This was taken in 1992 when Marianne first moved to Delos Crossing. See that ladder? Sam told me the barn has a loft. He helped her build it. Apparently she never told anyone about it. And it's still there? As far as he knows, yeah. What do you think? Should we give it a shot? We've come this far. And a hidden loft? That's got secret shit written all over it. Let's go. What do you think is up there? I don't know. I'm trying not to speculate. My brain was going to some real dark places. Don't worry. Whatever's up there, I'll protect you. We'll see how chivalrous you feel when you've got bats in that perfectly coiffed hair. No lever. Man, this place is a mess. If there was ever a time- I thought I saw something red over here, but I guess my mind's just playing tricks on me. There we are. So I can't move that. Maybe. What do you think is up there? I don't know. I'm trying not to speculate. My brain was going. The handle should be behind this. Ah, oh, there it is. That's cool. It's opening up. Secret Keeper always did store all the best secrets in the clouds. Yep. Come on, let's find a way to climb up there. Well, that's way too high to jump. You want to give me a leg up? I'm so not touching your nasty shoes. We'll find a ladder. Can you see anything? Nope, not a. Here, found a switch. Holy shit. Well, that shaved a few years off my life. Whoa. It's... Her story. Look, she left us something. Ooh, we gotta go do some puzzle again. It's got a combination lock with letters. Do you think she hid the code somewhere in all this? Knowing Mary Ann, probably. <laughs> well, you wanna do this? Yeah, let's start here. Why are these pictures from the Book of Goblins here? I don't know. I want to watch the books first. Do you have any idea what the code might be? No. So we should probably see if Marianne hid anything before we go trying to guess. So it's ba 
basically let us Recognize this? Yeah. It's from the story where the goblins tricked the mad hunter. It looks like it. It moves. Oh. Some of these parts are buttons. Never mind. That's nothing. Well, here it is. Why do you think she changed the picture? I don't know. Maybe it's some. Okay. Spot the differences. So find the four. So this is purple. So that's a little bit annoying that you. Let's see. We start on the top. It's not the same title, so I guess that counts as a difference. Or not. Huh. No goblins. Yeah. In the original, the goblins managed to save the princess from the mad hunter. So we saved Marianne from something. But not in this version. Did she add that flower? Is that like a innocence lost kind of thing? Maybe that branch looks a little bit different? I don't know. Even if the branch is a little different, I don't really think that means anything. Okay, spot the differences. Well, here it is. Why do you think she changed the picture? I don't know. Maybe it's a message. Like, the differences between the two mean something. Hmm. Something about Marianne. Huh. Is there an extra star here? Or am I just imagining that? It's just a random star. No special meaning. Wait. Figured anything out yet? Nah, still figuring it out. So I guess we select the differences. Or not. Ugh, I'm really grasping at straws here. The Mad Hunter still has two hands here. So this was either before the Gold Lady cut off his other one, or after he earned it back? Which either makes it before most of the story. Why do you think she added that castle in the background? See the color of the flag? It could be her mother. That's it. Whoa. What's in there? Tyler, see that little light? 
I think we need to solve this one next. Pictures, letters. Have you ever seen any of these? All the pictures of Marianne I've ever seen were the ones hanging on the walls. this guy been any more cryptic? Did you know she studied engineering? No, but it looks like she changed her major to visual arts. I don't think she actually got it changed. The paper's not signed and it's all wrinkled, like someone tried to throw it away. You think the guy with her is Brent from the letter? I would guess so. I can't believe she was a ballet dancer. Mary Ann. And a good one, too. God, that's so not her. Oh, poor thing. Why would she keep an old drawing of a pet in here? The gold lady. That was definitely her mom. So, did Mary Ann grow up kind of rich? Maybe. Would have been nice to have some of that. Tyler, see that little light? I think we need to solve this one next. There's the gold lady again. She's all over the board. There was a figure of her in that stash by the Mad Hunter painting, right? Oh, yeah. So maybe all of this is related to what we found in there. Hey, I can move the piece next to the gold lady. All these pictures. They look like images from Marianne's life before Delos, don't they? Well, some of them do anyway. Maybe that's it then. We need to figure out which ones are real. The princess dancing, playing violin, spinning wool. I guess this is stuff she did for fun. Notice how unhappy she looks in all these pictures? I don't think she was having any fun. Is the gold lady setting the animals free? Judging from the broomstick, I'd say she's getting rid of them, not setting them free. Is it the Mad Hunter? Or is it the Golden Lady?
let's look around a bit. We'll get to those later. Let's finish this one, okay? some puzzle where I actually don't know where to start. The wise princess looks like she's oh, yeah. trying to run away. And she's being watched by the gold lady. Hmm. Figured anything out yet? Uh, I'm totally stumped. I'm trying to figure out this one with all the animals. What about that drawing of Marianne's pet? Didn't it say, I miss you or something? So I guess she tried to change majors, but couldn't. Her parents probably wanted her to study something more practical. Marianne Ronan, the very definition of the word practical. art that's what she got her to do so I get some painting down here huh. what's the gold lady do is that it it's opening Yay. what's in there this time Father. You can hear my voice now.
What the hell? Marianne was pregnant in 1992, before she even got here. Before us? Do we have a long lost sibling out there somewhere? It's possible, but she could have given it up or miscarried. Uh, who knows? Yeah, you're right. Do you think we could track down her father? You mean the grandfather she never told us about? I don't think I want to. You're not at all excited about having more family. You saw the letter. I don't think we want any part of that. Fine. Let's keep digging. It wasn't that bad, was it? Salmonberry Park. Huh. Is that some kind of commune? Looks like it. So weird to imagine her living in a community like that, with, you know, other people. The weirdest part is how they all seem to love her. Where was prom queen Mary Ann when the whole town was turning on us? Wow, she worked for a watchmaker in Juno before she moved to Delos. No wonder she was so handy. Is that Carol? Yeah, and Sam. Look at him. He's so young and happy. Guess that's the house. This just lit up, so... What's this? Hmm. Some sort of map? That's the gold lady's castle. Some sort of clock? This is the princess's house. What's that plant thing on top? Oh, those are definitely salmonberry flowers. Hey. This looks like a dinner room. It seems like it's not doing anything. Maybe it's broken? This looks like a dinner room. Damn it. Why is nothing happening? What's that plant thing on top? Oh, those are definitely salmonberry flowers. This looks like a dinner party with the old bear and some sort of clock. This is the princess's house. That's the gold lady. Come on. Something with the berries, no? Yeah. Salmonberry Park. Huh. Is that some kind of commune? Looks like it. It's so weird to imagine her living in a community like that. With, you know, other people. The weirdest part is how they all seem to love her. Where was prom queen Mary Ann when the whole town was turning on us? The house? Like in that box. This is the house. princess's house. What's that plant thing on top? Some sort of clock? That's the gold lady's castle. This looks like a dinner. Come on.
need to do them in the right order, maybe. Is there dates here? Shamanberry Park. Huh. Is that some kind of commune? Looks like it. It's so weird to imagine her and living in a community like day. that. With, you know... Both of her parents kind of sound like jerks. I would have run away too. Is that Carol? Yeah, and Sam. Look at him. He's so young and happy. Wow. She worked for a watchmaker in Juno before she moved to Delos. No wonder she was so handy. Is that Carol? Yeah, and Sam. Look at him. He's so young and happy. This looks like a dinner party with the old bear and the very old beaver. What's that plant thing on top? Oh, those are definitely... over here salmonberry flowers. Hey, that degree in outdoor studies is paying off. Moonhag's gotta be imprisoned in her lake. Crafty goblins go here. The wise princess goes in the big wooden house, of course. The mad hunter, always on the princess's trail. Not sure about that, I don't know. I don't get this one. What's the deal with the tiara? No clue. Princess never wore a tiara in any of the drawings Marianne did with us. Tyler, we're not done with this one. What's that plant thing on top? Oh, some sort of clock. This is the princess's house. This looks like a dinner party with the old bear and the very old bee. That's the gold ladies. Come on.
This looks like a dinner party with the old bear and the very old beaver. That's the gold lady's castle. This is the princess's house. Some sort of clock. This looks like a dinner, come on. This looks like a dinner party with the old bear and the very old beaver. Some sort of clock, come on. This is the princess's house. That's the gold lady's castle. What's that plant thing on top? Oh, this looks like a dinner party with the old bear and the very- Some sort of clock? Come on. Some sort of clock? That's the gold lady's castle. What's that plant thing on top? Oh, those are- This is the princess's house. This looks like a dinner- Come on! This is the princess's house. That's the gold lady's castle. This is the princess's house. What's that plant thing on top? Oh, those are definitely salmonberry flowers. Hey, that degree in outdoors- Some sort of clock? This looks like a dinner, come on. There are like a million possibilities. Probably quicker just to see if she left us a hint somewhere. It's O L and this one we don't know what to do with. I don't get this one. What's the deal with the tiara? No clue. The princess never wore a tiara in any of the drawings Marianne did with us. Both of her parents kind of sound like jerks. I would have run away too. Wow. She worked for a watchmaker in Juno before she moved to Delos. No wonder she was so handy.
Salmonberry Park. Huh. Is that some kind of commune? Looks like it. So weird to imagine her living in a community like that. With, you know, other people. The weirdest part is how they all seem to love her. Where was prom queen Mary Ann when the whole town was turning on us? What's that plant thing on top? Oh, those are definitely salmonberry flowers. Hey, that degree in outdoor studies is paying off. What's that plant thing on top? Oh, some sort of clock? This is the princess's house. This looks like a dinner party with the old bear and the that's the gold lady. Come on. to watch some small clues. That's the gold lady's castle. What's that plant thing on top? Some sort of clock? This is the princess's house. This looks like a dinner party with the old bear and the very old beaver. I think it was yes. Too fast. What's in there? Another letter? The princess's loss. Is this from the Book of Goblins? Not that I know of. Well, sure looks like it could be.
and that would is how the princess lost her most precious treasure and her title. That was the story she read us that night. God, it makes sense now. Yeah, she got pregnant. And she ran away to start a new life. And then she made her way to Delos Crossing she was finally happy. But then the baby died. Yeah. I can't even imagine how she must have felt. She left everything behind. Built a whole new life for him. And then he was just gone. I guess having us helped her move on, but when it looked like we were gonna be taken away, she snapped. She just couldn't lose any more children. It really wasn't anything we did. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with all this. I don't either, but all I wanted was to understand what happened to her, and now I do. Yeah, but we still haven't seen what's in that chest. Okay, so how do we open it? Why don't we just break this open? There's a crowbar right downstairs. What? No. You don't want to try and figure out what all this means? I'm so done with her riddles. Did it just get darker in here? Ollie, she, uh, she noticed. Why does she have a photo of that tree locked in here? Uh, is that? Leo Ronan. Why didn't she tell us about him? Why didn't she tell us any of this? I mean, it's fucking terrible. That's why. Allie, did we do the right Sorry. thing opening this? We did. It's better we know what happened, even... even if it's hard. And there's one more thing we need to see. Are you sure? Yes. Come on, let's go to the dock. It's time to finish this. The very old beaver's repair list. That's the story where the princess's house gets damaged by a storm and the animals help her fix it. Yeah, what? Uh, she fixed the roof shingles. She fixed the broken window. She repaired the water leak. She fixed the planks that were blown off the walls. She turned the power back on. She slapped the post with her tail to right it. Wait. 
and she fixed the planks that were blown off the walls. See what he's gonna fix for her then. Wait. So I guess he fixed the the roof, the wall and this post. Actually, I'm not sure. She fixed the planks that were blown off the walls. Actually, I'm not sure. Actually, I'm not sure. All right. Yay. Damn. That must have been rough on Eddie. Yeah, he, um, he doesn't really like to talk about her. The crafty goblins' good deeds. Of course. The goblins had to help out the creatures of the forest to pay off their debt to the pelican. Uh, well, what did they do? You know, I don't really remember. The pelican. Something. Pelican. Pelican. Is it something to do with this one? What is it? Huh. They had to give nuts to the muskrat. Is it some...
They gave the stalwart moose a good scratch on the back. And we helped the old bear to get the honey. They broke open the beehive for the... Bear. And then they found the princess crying. She needed a hug. They hugged the princess when she was crying. Or not. Nailed it. Nice. Our lives would have been so different if their friendship hadn't gone to shit. The old bear's gifts for the princess. I'm totally blanking on that story. What did he give her again? Why don't we... So we gotta find the bear and gift. The bear and the princess. So, a fresh caught salmon. Open up the book and check. Uh, fresh caught salmon? Yeah. And. Uh, ripe berries and a bloomed bluebell. So, berries, maybe? A handful yeah. of ripe berries? Was the last a bluebell? I guess it's a flower or a newly bloomed bluebell. Yay. Nice, man. He had it bad. Just couldn't let go. Oh, another one. They're never ending. The crafty goblin's loot. That's from the princess and the two thieves. I drew the original. And I distinctly remember drawing that cake. 
which is arguably the best part of that illustration. All right, Picasso. So, two, two things. Picasso, and you probably remember what the goblins stole in that story, huh? Uh... Maybe they took some of the princess's fruit? Or not. Some flour for the cake, maybe? Maybe not. What if they took some spoons? Hmm. Didn't they take some of the princess's clothes? Or not. Spoons, plates, forks, and blankets. So is it just... What's that? They Some flour for the cake, maybe? Or not. I'm pretty sure they stole some eggs. Maybe not. Maybe they took some of the princess's fruit? They also stole blankets, right? What's that? Did they steal candy? Wait. Still some flour for the cake, maybe? Or not. Hmm. Didn't they take some of the princess's clothes? Wait. Wait. So they stole those. And there is like nothing. <laughs> Maybe they took some of the princess's fruit? So food was disappearing. Yeah, only a few fruits and and eggs. Uh -huh. So we take fruits and we take eggs. I'm pretty sure they stole some eggs. Yay. That's it. I always wondered where that drawing went. She said it was her favorite and then one day it just disappeared. You really want to go? You sure we've seen everything? I guess we could stay a little longer if you think there's more to find. There you go, <coughs> stalwart moose. Gold lady stays locked up in her castle. Back in your pond, big frog. A baby blanket? A baby blanket? I guess maybe we have to go to Yeah, he was so young. Tree. I think we can leave now. You really want to go? You sure we've seen everything? Ah. I guess we could stay a little longer if you think there's more to find. You really want to go? You sure we've seen everything? Either way, 
I'm ready for this to be over. Me too. So we gotta go to the dumps. What are we waiting for? I wanna know who was here that night. Let's try and remember who Marianne was arguing with. Almost. Tom? Tom Vecchi is our father? Of course. It had to be him. Tessa knew, didn't she? Yeah, she, she must have. That's what she didn't want to tell us. God, Marianne and Tom? I know. Ugh. What should we do now? Yeah, call him out here and make him tell us what was going on. And if he won't? We know his secret. He will. Tom? It's Allison. We need to talk. We know it was you. Let me take the lead on this. I know him better. I thought I did, anyway. Sure. Whatever. As long as we get answers. Kids, listen. You're our father. <sighs> yes. You knew how bad it got out here. How little we had. Why didn't you help Marianne? You mean all the money she wanted? We didn't have anything to spare. Well, that winter was rough on everyone. It, you would have starved out here if not for all the free food we gave you. Don't act like you had anything to do with that. That was all Tessa. That's a cruel presumption, young man. Well, maybe it was Tessa's idea initially. But I supported it. And your mother was happy to live off our handouts. You tried to burn down our barn and knocked Tyler unconscious. I never meant to hurt anybody. You weren't supposed to be home. Doesn't excuse the fact that you didn't even stop to help. What do you want me to say? I panicked. I was terrified that this whole thing was going to blow up in my face. I had to do something. You were here that night. You saw Marianne and Tyler. Why didn't you help? I know it wasn't my best moment, but she threatened my life. So you just decided to let her drown? I didn't decide anything. Everything happened so fast, I panicked. 
Then by the time I got to town, Brown was already on his way out. There was nothing else I could do. So what do we do now? We tell him he's got to fix the mess he made, one way or another. You failed us, Tom. You need to make it right. I'll do whatever you want. As long as none of this gets out. Excuse me? You want me to pay for my mistakes? Fine. But please, Tessa can't know. This would kill her. Tessa already knows, Tom. No. That's... That's impossible. It never occurred to you the reason Tessa cut Marianne off was you? Uh, I... But she... She never said anything. Oh, Lord. You should try talking to your wife. Maybe if you had, we wouldn't be in this situation. And maybe Marianne wouldn't be dead. Oh, come on. You of all people should appreciate how troubled Marianne was. She was unhinged. Something like this would have happened sooner or later. He was peak. That was convenient for you, huh? You preyed on her because she was vulnerable. And you knew you could always blame it on crazy Marianne Ronan if you got caught. It was nothing like that. Nothing at all. Your mother was... a very pretty woman. And she'd been so many places and done so many things. The way I always thought I would have. I got caught up. Love made me a fool. Look, I made mistakes. But this will not go any I further like than the three of us. Beginning. Why? We know. Tessa knows. Marianne's dead. There's no point in hiding it anymore. He's afraid it'll tank his campaign. Am I wrong? Jesus, Tom. I've kept your secret all these years. I don't want to go spilling it. But I will if I have to. What? Yeah. Your little story about self-defense. I've never told anyone how Marianne really died. That night, I came out here because I was worried about your mother.
No. No way. You're a fucking liar. I saw what I saw. Ugh! You're manipulating us just like you manipulated her. Tyler! You're not listening to this, are you? Be smart about this, Allison. Are you sure you want this to get out? You've got way more here to lose than he does. His name will be all but clear, but you... You'll be a killer. What will your uncle say? And Michael? Hmm? Well, the whole town might turn on you. Don't touch her. <laughs> No, I'm right. Just get out of here, Tom. Tyler and I need to talk alone. Just please think twice before making any rash decisions. There are a whole lot of lives at stake here. Leave us the fuck alone and never come back. was there on in like in the water on a boat and she was standing there with the shotgun but he wasn't there at all or that was maybe before yeah uh, so it was two different nights okay 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 Ali you okay you didn't let that asshole get to you, did you? Did you? What if he's right? I've been having all of these nightmares about that night, and they were a lot like how Tom said. And now, when I try to remember, that's all I can see. He's trying to mess with your head, and you're letting it work. No, it's more than that. Ever since we started digging, I... I haven't been able to shake this feeling like something's off. Something's off because he put this in your head. Don't let him get away with it. He might not be lying. We, we keep getting things mixed up. We remember totally different versions of the past. Those are just details. This isn't that. She was going to kill me. I'm not so sure anymore, Tyler. This is intense now. So there is two different memories. She had a gun pointed at me. She chased me. She said she was going to kill me.
She threatened Tom with those exact same words. With the same gun, on the same pier. The thing you said to Eddie the other day got thrown back at me. Don't you think it's possible that happened here too? I guess it's possible. Fuck. I, I don't know. And we're never gonna know the truth, are we? Because the second you walk away from something... That's it. Yeah. I guess, at this point, you just... have to decide what you believe. Me? Yeah. You need to start dealing, Allie. And that means coming to terms with whatever version of the past feels the most true to you. No more running. Whatever you choose, you gotta live with it, okay? to kill you oh, but I mean I'm going to kill you one thing is and one I'm is going to I mean is it up to me <laughs> I don't want that decision I'm not gonna hurt you I'm going to kill you this way I think I'm going to kill you to kill you! No, don't do this. Mom, no. Alice, this isn't what Tom was lying. Marianne couldn't face being separated from her kids again. And the only way to make sure that never happened was for all of us to go together. I know it in my heart. I saved you. I saved us. I know. You did the right thing. You want to go back inside? Yeah. Quite sad. Hey, peep what I just found downstairs. What do you think? Will it have aged well, or just gone bad? Cheers, I guess. I can't believe Tom thought we'd buy that story. That I almost did. Yeah, I still can't believe he and Marianne. What the hell did she see in him? She was probably just really, really lonely after she lost Leo. I could never get that lonely. Listen, with everything that's been going on, it got me thinking about our voice. Like, that maybe we should stop using it. What? I just don't trust it. And I think we'll be better off without it. This morning, I kept getting these horrible visions. 
with you and Marianne and Eddie. Visions. Like our memories? Yeah, but, but different. It was all my worst thoughts brought to life. You were in my bedroom saying I abandoned you. Eddie called me a snake. I'm sorry. I should have been there for you. It's okay. I was the one who walked out. I just... I can't let that happen again. I, I don't think it will. Something's been pushing us to find answers. And now we have them. Maybe I'm wrong. And if it stays bad, we can stop. But... I really want to keep what makes us... us. The Mad Hunter was forced to remain below the lake with the Moon Hag, but she did not kill him, because even reduced to just one hand, he was too useful a servant. Lo, he plotted what do you the day think? he would emerge Brothers and sisters? to once again hunt the wise princess and earn back his left hand. Always. And that is the story of how the crafty goblins rescued the wise princess from the Mad Hunter. to be more with everything else we can be done now. One last look, I'm good to go. Hey, it's me. Hey, me. <laughs> House is empty. I'm getting ready to head out. So, last chance. Is there anything you want me to do while I'm in town? Listen, Ty, you're dropping off the keys with Tina, right? Yep, gonna leave them at her office on my way to the ferry. Well, that's it then. How are you? Good, actually. Really good. You? Same. You know, emptying the house really cleared my head out. Thanks for doing that. The observatory really needed me this week. And after everything that happened, I, I just felt like I needed to keep some miles between me and Delos Crossing. No worries. You still loving your therapist? Gail, yes. I was actually just doing some letter writing she assigned me as homework. It really helped me get some perspective. That sounds awesome. Uh, did you see the article I sent you about Tom losing the election? Yes, I saw your message right before derby practice, so I didn't have time to read it. 
but I did cackle at the headline. <laughs> did you picture Tom's face whenever you went in for a block? <laughs> no, but that is a great idea. <laughs> Anyways, I'm glad Tessa finally left his ass. Karma is a bitch. How's Juno? Big and full of people, even without tourists. Michael's been writing up rules for the apartment. I need your support against his whole food policy. Just refuse to sign anything until I get there, okay? Okay, but you better hurry. If he gets his way, we'll only have one small shelf for junk food. What? Heresy. I'm gonna need, like, twice that just for snack cakes after my surgery next month. I know, right? This cannot stand. Okay, I'm gonna hang up now. See you tonight. Okay. I'm gonna take one last walk through the house and then head to the ferry. Drive safe. Uh, pretty sure that's the only way possible in the old Allison Mobile. Love you, Tyler. Love you. Never been here before. I gotta go for a walk. Sucks to suck. Thomas Anthony Fecky. At least she finally dumped his ass. Goodbye room. Goodbye room. Goodbye man on the moon. <laughs> For posterity. Certainly hope the new owners are Mr. or Mrs. Fixit. It's a really great house, I have to say. And the location is Empty is so weird, but at least it's the last time we'll ever have to.
Oh yeah, the, uh, <laughs> the raccoon was a thief. like so <sighs> and the great loft with all the stores from their mouth well this is goodbye for real i guess Hey, Aaron. It's Ty. Tyler Ronan. I, uh, uh, thought I'd catch you on your break between sessions, but I guess you're going long with another rebel with too many causes. <laughs> I, I know I haven't reached out since I left Fireweed, but I just wanted to say well, you were right about grief. About it going in circles. This morning, I was out on the porch staring at the fog. And my mother, she, she just tumbled right out of me. But it was okay. It actually felt good to remember. Anyway, uh, give me a call back if you get a chance. I'll see you around. And thank you.
guess that was it. I don't know if there will be more chapters though. I'm gonna watch the get Microsoft. So Google and see if there will be more chapters, but I mean there is no no like continuation for getting more, I'd say. have to find another games like these I would say But yeah. I would love to find more games on the Microsoft at the because I have like the the Game Pass unlocked for one month. if Microsoft has more of the RPG. And it shouldn't be like all the fighting and stuff, it's also talking, that would be more suiting for me.
guess it would take some time to find other games like this. Now I will have to take a break to get some cooking done and whatnot. But really big thank you for watching. It's a great game. And if you watch everything, unfortunately you got spoiled. <laughs> With all the good stuff. It this could have continued for like many more chapters if you ask me but I will take a break so maybe I'll see you later tonight Tell me what's best for me Scarborough wanna what's next for me But so far you said it ain't fast for me 120 busting on the gas Race car gotta go fast First off I know what's wrong with me Cause I can't shake it this side of it Five stars since you've been gone Five stars calling the garage Five stars wanna where you are Five stars hey, you from my heart too long and watched the waves carry my soul along farther than I could see that's when I reached the end of me emptier than the sky light was in full exposure one bullet to the bullseye my heart was taken Forgive my lungs 
composed in the afterglow in the afterglow memories unfold Until the ground follows up All I am, no, I won't give up I know I'll find We'll be dancing all night 